Hey YouTube, BR Tidwell 55 here. And uh, earlier this evening, I was on a, uh, I was in a chat room uh, with some other, you know, Linux aficionados, if you will. And uh, there was a young man, I assume he was a young man, having trouble with uh, getting his printer working. And uh, I was trying to help him, but I realized that. Uh, because he was using uh, Manjaro with uh, XFCE and I was using uh, Linux Mint with uh, Cinnamon there was it was just hard to walk him through it was almost like we weren't even though we we're both Linux users we weren't using a common language but then it occurred to me and I guess he got frustrated and and logged off before uh, before this came to me and frankly it should have came to me sooner even though different distributions different desktop environments do the same thing in different ways there is common ground at least when it comes to printing because just about I have never run into a desktop Linux distribution that did not ship with cups and that is the common Unix printing system and that's cups is what manages uh, your printers in Linux and fortunately cups comes with a web interface that uh, is going to be common across all platforms it doesn't matter if you're running Ubuntu or Linux Mint or Manjaro or Slackware or Red Hat or Scent it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you're using Chrome or Chromium or Firefox or Opera or uh, whatever that you know, the the KDE default browser is. I forget the name of it. It's a web interface and it's going to look the same. So what you can do is is you open up your browser and you go to localhost colon 631 localhost is your local machine 631 is the port that the cups interface works on in this video I'm going to show you how to connect to a Windows shared printer so I'm assuming that you already have Samba set up and running on your Linux machine and if you don't if you have questions about that I walk you through it uh, back in my uh, setting up an XBMC server series. So go back and take a look. I think that's the very first video. Uh, now it's the second video. Take a look at the second video in that series. Or uh, if you don't like the way I talk and go mm and ah a lot, there's look around on YouTube, do a Google search. There's plenty of help out there on setting up Samba in Linux. That being said, let's talk about printers. So after you get this uh, CUPS page opened up, go ahead and go over to administration and you're going to add a printer. And because you have Samba already set up, you've got this option, Windows Printer, uh, Winter, Windows printer via Samba. Go ahead and check that and hit continue. Okay, there's a couple of ways you can handle this address right here. Uh, you can you can either use the IP address, which is what I'm going to show you, or you can go after the double slashes, uh, you would put in uh, your work group. Slash your share slash printer name. Okay. Easy enough. Or personally, I think IP addresses are just faster, so I'm just going to put in the IP address to that share. And that is uh, DeskJet D1400. One little wrinkle here. If your if the server that you're connecting to requires a uh, an administrator username and password 
uh, to connect to the printer. Before that computer address, you're going to have to put in username, colon, and just replace these with whatever the username password is at okay and then that will uh, that will store the username and password in warning that password that you put in there it goes into your uh, I think it's cups.conf file it's get, it gets stored as plain text on your local computer so if uh, if you've got cons uh, security concerns about that you may want to rethink how that uh, printer share is set up on your server. I'll just throw that out there. Okay, so we got we've got our uh, username, our, we've got our address in here, and we can hit continue. So go ahead and give it a name. And a description and locations optional I leave it blank you can either choose to share this printer or not now if, you, if you've noticed I have an HP printer uh, connected to this and just a word to the wise I have found that even though HP desk jet printers tend to be rather expensive to maintain, I mean, go buy ink for one. It's almost cheaper to buy a new printer than it is to buy ink cartridges. But that being said, they have excellent driver support in Linux. So that is something to think about. And I'm looking for my model here. I think I scrolled down too far. And now you're done. All you have to do now, if you want to print a test page, you can go ahead and go here to maintenance and click print a test page. So, hopefully you've uh, hopefully this this has been helpful for you and uh, and you know it never it never hurts to ask a question if you need Linux support there's a lot of great forums out there uh, most distributions have their own wiki uh, I know from experience that there's a depth of knowledge in both Linux Mint forums and in Ubuntu forums and uh, I'm finding out that there's if you're an Arch user or Manjaro user there's a lot of great stuff in those communities as well and the same can be said if you're a Fedora Red Hat user so don't be afraid to go out to the community and look for uh, look for some help well that's all I have for tonight this is BR Tidwell 55 and Thanks for watching.